Our teacher, dead. But the midwinter mast ball is St. Sebastian's favorite school event and it's coming up. But how fun will it really be this year with the blackmailer on the loose? Yes, today we are back with School of Secrets on the episode Choose Your Store app. If you did not see the crazy last ones in the series, catch up on them on the playlist right here. On our school trip, learning about moths, just being good students, we look over a cliff and what do we see? Miss Six Wings dead. Deceased at the bottom of this cliff. Was she pushed though? Was she pushed though? They said it was something else like she did it herself because she couldn't handle things. I beg to differ. I think it was this shady principal or one of the cults at the school because the school has so much going on underneath it. It's all smoke and mirrors because they are crazy. And the blackmailer is still on the loose now. Not only was he showing his secrets to different people, but now he's requesting valuables because he wants money. And that's what we're about to find out. We are going to bust him. We're going to find this blackmailer. We are going to find out who killed Miss Six Wings. Hopefully soon, because we're getting close to the end of the story. And hopefully we can snag a man by the end. We got two of them right now, Mr. Golden Boy and Mr. Who My Heart Is Set With. And I adore him, but we found out he's in a cult. We can get past the scare. We, 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 can, we can work on these things. But we're going to see what happens. Please go read the amazing author Regina's stories. You can find them on the episode Choose Your Story app and other Choose Your Story apps. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like because it helps this video and channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. That's all for today. Also, tomorrow we will be going into town for shopping. The annual midwinter ball is this weekend. Looks like it. Look at it like an opportunity. To forget about everything bad that happened this semester. Oh, that's great. We're just going to go spend some money and pretend we forgot we just saw our favorite teacher lifeless at the bottom of a ditch. Mm. Exciting, isn't it? I think I'm going to buy an extravagant ball gown. I don't know if the money my mom has sent will be enough, though. Isabella, I'll see you back at the dorm. I hope you remember what I said. Just be careful. The girls and boys are taking shopping at different times, so I won't be there to save you from any trouble. Uh, Garrett, I will be careful. You have nothing to worry about. So tell me more about this winter ball, about your cult. Let's let's get to the real nitty gritty here. What's this about? Wait, what are you in, Garrett? Please tell us so we can move past this. It's St. Sebastian's favorite event. The dance committee goes a lot on the preparations. It'll be really exquisite and fun. I hope there won't be any unex I can't even speak right now, y'all. Unexpected surprises. I hope so too. Oh, there will be. I feel it. I just know there's gonna be some unexpected surprises. This town is so cute. I totally agree. I wish they let us go out more often. Come, let's go and check out that store. All right, let's see what these little outfits are going to look like. This is the best gowns. Come on, try these on. I love them all. Let's try them. Remember the winter ball is the one night in a year where we can dress like royalty. All right, we're going to make the most of it. What is your royalness? I like the purple gown better, to be quite honest. I'm so excited. This ball will be the best night of our life. One could only hope. All right, students, that's all for today. And no homework for this weekend. You'll be busy enjoying yourselves at the dance. Thank you, Miss Evans. Thank you. Now, as per the school's tradition, each student will have an escort. Let me read the list out for you so you can understand who's your escort to the dance. Who do you think you'll get? I don't know. Are you hoping it's one of them? Yeah, I don't want to share this special evening with some random. Why do we, why are they picked for us? I'm hoping I pair with the nice guy I know from the sports team so we can't just go pick who we want. Interesting. They're total jerks. Okay, final list. Miss Jeta will be escorted by Mason Gerloff. Oh. Okay, Garrett Forbes, the prefect of this class. We're with Garrett. Okay. Okay, okay. Miss Stella Cooper's with Nick St. Ethan's. I feel bad for Nick. I feel so bad for Nick. Oh my gosh, you look so pretty, Isabella. Are you ready to meet your Prince Charming for tonight? It's funny when you say it like that. I'm excited to see both of them tonight. I'm nervous about the blackmail, though. What if I give my ring, but we fail to catch him or her? We will uncover the blackmailer tonight. I promise you, Gita. Don't forget the ring. I got it. Let's go. Oh, we're going to see who the blackmailer is finally. Hopefully. Garrett. Isabella. Garrett walks towards me, taking my hand in his. He slips on the gorgeous corsage on my wrist. You look beautiful. I'm so happy to be escorting to the dance tonight. I am so happy it was you who was chosen to be my date. 
Do you want to make a grand entrance? Not particularly pleased. I don't want anyone to see us, but why? I'll meet you inside because I'm not trying to get caught with the blackmailer. That's why. Isabella, Jita, there you are. This party's so extravagant. Why does she look unhappy? Someone in my comments had a theory or was just like throwing things out there. And I was like, what if Jita's the secret blackmailer and Loki? Mm, you never know. I know, but there's a problem. But, but there's a problem. What happens? The blackmail left a text message on my phone from an unknown number. They want the ring right now. Well, no, because if they're asking for the ring, it can't be her. What? Let's do it then. I'll get Steven and meet you at the rooftop. Oh, wow. Of course I chose this dark hallway. I don't want the blackmailer to see you guys, so you stay here. I'll go and stand at the location. Okay, don't worry. We'll snatch the ring away once we see their face. Who is it gonna be, though? Oh, it's a woman. Do you have it? I don't recognize. I'm acting as if the, I can actually see it in the dark. Do you have it? Yeah. Good. Oh. <laughs> she took that and ran. We were late. I couldn't even see her face in the dark. At least we now know she's a girl. I'm sorry, Jita. We'll find her. Get your ring back, I promise. <laughs> she was robbed. Well, let's head back to the dance. Now all we can do is enjoy the evening. Well, our plan was a flop. Isabella, where were you? Garrett, I was with Jita. Is everything okay with her? No, not really. Let's go back inside. Who was it? I'm trying to think of who. Hmm. Oh no. As the girl takes me inside, I try to put everything bad behind me. Then I wasn't going to come back and I needed to live in the moment. You look really tense, whatever it is you can tell me. I can't tell Garrett about the blackmailer. I can't forget it's part of the secret society, which he refuses to tell us about. So it's nothing. Okay, let me get you a drink. Keep your eye on him, girl. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? It's Lydia. The only reason I think it's Lydia is because I swear the woman who had her, she had her hair up, but it had that little bit of like white at the end of it. And her eye color was the same. It's those like gold eyes. Was it Lydia? I'm, I'm thinking it's Lydia. And isn't she Stella's friend? After this, we'll be announcing our Mr. and Miss St. Sebastian. As you know, students could nominate any way or anyone they wanted. And we have two really strong contenders to win. It's like, I need to go back and like when I'm editing this video and like rewatch it. But I think it's Lydia. I just, the eye color is so striking. Those pretty, pretty like, well, on my screen, maybe they're like a, a hazel or something. But they look gold on my screen with these flashing lights. And I think that was the color of the blackmailer's eyes. And then again, I swear the ponytail had like white in it. And the tips of her hair have that white color. I'm thinking it's Lydia, but I'll double check. We'll find out. Isabella, why do I have a feeling it's going to be you? Oh, me with who? I guess I'm going to wait and find out. It's definitely going to be us, babe. Nick does not want to be with you. Nick looks miserable. I mean, you also have the chance for the two hottest people in St. Sebastian. Correction, sweaty. One of the two hottest people, Nick. Doesn't the voting start after the annual dances commence? It does, but I'm not worried. It's definitely going to be me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she has no idea that you're totally going to snatch that crown from her. It's so weird seeing Nick with her, even though I know why he has to go along. Just look at his face. He looks miserable. Isabella, here's your drink. Thank you, Garrett. The dance is starting soon. And I forgot to tell you all the same performance. Yeah, I don't care, really. Why aren't you telling her? It's like Gare Forbes likes to be part of these dances. Why are you talking to us? Did we speak to you? I didn't think so. Exit stage left. That's what you think. I'm already a dance with Isabella, and to your surprise, we'll actually win this evening. I don't doubt that. Isabella's a great dancer, and her chemistry with Garrett is unbeatable. Oh, really? Well, good thing I don't have to worry about any of that, as I know Isabella won't be up for the challenge. Yeah, I don't really care, to be quite honest. Have fun winning. I don't want to go up there. Thought so. Yeah, enjoy it. Looks like one couple already backed out. So our winner is Nick and Stella. Won't we win? We won without doing anything. A pretty hollow victory, huh? 
oh, people, all that matters is when, oh, this kind of worked in our favor. No one's happy. People are dragging her left to right. It's okay that you didn't dance. They won, but no one seems to care. Just then my eyes meet next. There has been tension between us for the whole evening. With Stella dangling at his arm, I can't help but feel a little sad. His heart is clearly not in it, but it's still hard to watch. I need some fresh air. I'll be back. Okay. Nick, how do you zoom out here so quick? Isabella, I step closer looking into Nick's eyes. They're totally lost without their usual sparkle. Are you okay? You look awful. We gotta be honest. You, you don't look too good. Not too different from how I feel. In a way, maybe I am hiding here. What are you doing? I'm just escaping reality at this point. We have too much going on. You know what? This is our last high school dance. I wanted it to be fun. I wanted to come to the dance with you. What? My father gave me an ultimatum to get back with Sally. Take it alone from her family. Oh, okay. Well, then the father can show up and go to the dance with Stella. That's his problem, isn't it? Why are these parents making these children fix their mistakes? Remember in the other story, The Masked Millionaire, where we literally had to marry someone because our father was in debt? And now we have poor Nick here who's taken a loan from Stella's family. So Nick is forced to deal with this. No, get your, get your father ass down here and you dance with Stella. Cause it's your problem. Nick, I am so sorry. You know what? It's about like coming to this dance and that we sing you Forbes. Oh, I don't want to be with Stella Isabella. Then who do you want? You. This is getting very intense and you're closing the gap between us. Okay, all I can see is the genuineness and care for me. Do you feel the same way? To be quite honest, I don't really. I'm going to have to back out. Do you want to go to the dance? That's what you want. But I want you to know I'll be waiting to hear your answer. I'm so torn. Oh, excuse me. Was that a camera flash? I can see someone running. Uh, okay, I scroll my eyes to make who just took our pictures with my shock nose when I see the same clothes and hair that I saw in the hallway not too long ago. That's the blackmailer. The blackmailer. The blackmailer. 